Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I made one of these videos so today I am bringing you part two of products that I think are sh so this isn't meant to be like a diss video to brands or anything like that and it doesn't mean that you might not like these products. These are just products that I've tried out this year that essentially I think are kind of shitty and that maybe I just do not like. It doesn't mean you don't like them and it doesn't mean that they're not good products because I get to work with incredible brands and I get sent amazing products to try out all the time so I'm constantly trying new things. So these are just the products that haven't been my favourite. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the first product might actually be a surprise to you guys. I used to rave about this product all the time and I think for people first getting into contouring, it is a really, really affordable, good option for contouring. But now that I come back to it after trying out lots of contouring palettes, I really, really dislike this Australis Aceon Tour Contour Kit. Now this is the first one, so I don't know if the formula has changed. I have had this for a long, long time now. It is just, honestly, the most, like, chalky overly pigmented contour palette you can literally dip in with your brush the tiniest amount let me tell you the tiniest amount and you put it on your face and holy shit you've got this like massive line of darkness and you cannot blend it out to save your life so I really enjoy the banana shade in this palette still I used to use this all the time but this the contouring shades are just too gray too pigmented too powdery and they do not blend the next product that I have here is this Rimmel natural bronzer this is waterproof bronzing powder anyone that knows me knows I like a warm bronzer because I am naturally like undertone with yellow but this thing is friggin friggin orange like oh my god it's orange and when I put it on I'm like oh it's not even orange actually it's kind of red like I look a bit burnt when I use this I don't like this bronzer at all I actually don't know why I still have it in my collection I should probably just get rid of it but this mm -mm. Do not like this bronzer at all. The next one is another bronzer slash like contouring thing and this is the Maybelline Master Sculpt in O2 Medium Dark. Firstly, why have like a two-in-one kind of palette? This light shade is too small to use it. It's not glittery so it's not like an actual highlight. It's one of those like matte highlights but I can't use it for under my eyes because it's like this awkward like cream white shade and it's too small and like subtly got a little bit of shimmer in it but not enough to be an actual highlighter. And this shade here, I just never reach for this product. It's not even a bad shade shade it's just one that I don't like I find it really hard to blend as well and I think with contour it needs to be easy to blend because otherwise it can go so wrong so fast look it's not terrible but it's not the best so I definitely can't see myself repurchasing this in the near future now the next product I have here is this NYX control freak eyebrow gel now this one here is just meant to be clear the freaking brush head is massive bad start you can't like precisely get in your brows and like sculpt your brows or anything like that because it is too big and this saddens me because I love NYX. I use NYX stuff all the time. I work with NYX. NYX in itself is an incredible company. This one here just does nothing for my brows whatsoever. I put it through my brows and trust me, I've tried this product out a lot. Put it through my brows I'm like, yo, where's the where's the hold at? Because the next thing you know, the eyebrow hairs are like all down here, not staying in place and within like, I'm not kidding, five, ten minutes, they all over the place. So I would not be repurchasing this. I do not like this product at all. The next one I have here is a setting spray and I used to love this product as well. This is the Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz and this is like the rose scent. It smells amazing. It makes your skin feel amazing. I actually really like this like if I'm going on a plane and I'm traveling and want to just like freshen up my skin or something like that. I don't think it does anything for the longevity of your makeup and holding your makeup on. But the thing that I hate about this the most is this applicator. It's not like a really, really calming light sort of spray. This is like hard out spray in your face. It does these big splashes in your face. If they redid this nozzle and actually put on like a spritz rather than a spray, I would probably really like this again. But this applicator slash nozzle, whatever this thing is called, is terrible. Now the next two products are from e.l.f. and you would have seen these in a recent haul video that I made and trust me, I have tried these as much as I can. These are the e.l.f. baked highlighters. I have one in Moonlight Pearls and Pink Diamonds. Ugh. These are bad. Like, I normally use a fan brush or like a little Real Techniques brush like this to apply my highlight. And normally it's like a little touch of highlight, lightly brush it on my cheeks and you're good to go. These things, you literally need to dig into these palettes, like dig into the pan to really get any product. And I'm not kidding, it's like 
really, really scraping the product to get it on your cheeks, so I would definitely not recommend these. I've seen other people say that these are really good. I don't know if I got like serious duds or something, but these have just been a no-go for me, and I really do not like these highlighters. Now, the next product I have here is this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Oil-Free Foundation in 210, which everyone friggin' raves about all the time as well, and I just do not like this at all. I don't know what it is. I think it makes my skin look pink, even though it's a yellow toned foundation. I think the color range of these foundations is kind of crap, to be honest. I quite like CoverGirl products in them, like, as a brand, but just this foundation does not do it for me at all. Now, the next one I have here is also a foundation, and this is the L'Oreal Nude Magic Cushion Foundation. I have this shade, what shade is this? I don't know what shade this is. Comes in like a sponge like that. Look, this isn't terrible. Honestly, I shouldn't be putting this as like a shit product, but I just don't really like this. I never ever reach for it. The color is off. The color range is not so great either. I'm very yellow toned, which I've said a thousand times in this video, but this just like, it's very, very low coverage, which is fine because I actually don't like to have a huge amount of coverage when it comes to foundation all the time, but mm, it's just a really, really average product. In my mind, that could be totally different. Some of you guys might love this product, but yeah, look, Eh, eh, eh. Now the next product I have here I bought purely because of Shanexo on YouTube. She's one of my favorite YouTubers and she uses this all the time and has for years. This is the Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer Powder. Now I bought this because she uses it to set her under eye area and it brightens it up like a banana powder. So I was like, yep, gotta get this. I actually bought it recently when I was down at the Gold Coast. Mm. This one makes my under eye area look so cakey, like beyond, beyond cakey. All under here I have quite a few fine lines and it just emphasizes these like there's no tomorrow. This emphasizes every single under eye crease that I have and I am not about that life. Now the next one is a concealer and this is from the brand Savvy. This is just a liquid concealer in light. I don't even have much to say about this product to be honest. I just don't like it. It's not my favorite concealer. I don't reach for it ever. I think the coverage is absolutely terrible. The consistency is not great. It creases. It's, uh, it doesn't set nicely. It definitely oxidizes as well. I put it on. I'm like, yep, that's all right. The like color is good. Then it oxidizes and goes like orange on my eyes, so I'm ooh, ooh, mm. Just don't like this concealer, not my fave. Definitely kind of a shitty product. Now the next one here I bought purely because of Lauren Curtis. So not Shanexo, but Lauren Curtis. I saw this in her like long lashes tutorial or whatever she called it. And this is the Clinique Chubby Lash. I bought this, I was like, yeah, you're gonna have such long lashes. This is gonna like lengthen, volumize. It's gonna do everything. You're gonna look like Lauren Curtis and you're gonna have her eyelashes wrong. You're not going to have Lauren Curtis's eyelashes. Hers are amazing. She has very, very long natural lashes. I find that this is so, so clumpy on my lashes. I have like medium length lashes, I guess. And this just clumps every single lash together and I end up with these like spidery, thick, ugly lashes. And I just think that this is nothing special considering the price. I got this when my dad was in Canada, so it made the price a little more bearable. But I know for us Australian girls, this is friggin' expensive. So I would not be repurchasing this product. Now the next product here was sent to me and I love this brand as well. This is Pony Cosmetics and this is their Pegasus Liquid Liner. I used this in a recent first impressions video so I'll leave a link to that up in the corner somewhere if you wanted to check it out. I really quite like felt tip like eyeliners but this is just too thick for me. The actual applicator is too thick. I like a really really fine sort of liquid liner so that I can get a nice precise point. This just didn't do it for me. It is really really matte and really really black which I really like about it. It has a ball in it so it keeps it like fluidy and it doesn't get all dried up really quickly but it's just the applicator. It's too thick for my liking. Now this product here I actually spoke about in another video recently and this is the Hourglass Ambient Bronzer. I don't like this. I don't like any of the Hourglass products that I've tried. I think they are so overly hyped and that's only maybe because I have only three products from Hourglass and they're all powders. Every single person, every single YouTuber, any makeup artist I've ever spoken to has said that they love Hourglass products. They're very luxurious. The packaging is incredible. I like the formula of the product. I just don't like it when it's applied to my face but not even that I just don't love these products and I think for the amount of money that you spend on them they should be amazing you should love them you should want to use them all the time but I find that these just sit in my drawers and I never ever reach for them it's like I don't know they're just nothing special so I wouldn't go out and like make an effort to buy these again now the next two products are lip products and I actually spoke about these in my last products that are shit video and these are these sports girl lip chalk now the reason that I'm mentioning these again is because I've bought a couple of new shades and I've been trying them 
them out again just to see if maybe it was an old formula. Maybe I should just try it again, see if I've changed my mind. Yeah, no. I don't like these. These are so dry on the lips. They're flaky. You wear them for like an hour and they're hella flaky on your lips. The colors are quite nice, but it's just the formula of these that are absolutely terrible. They smell nice. The formula, uh -uh, not gonna wear these. Do not like these at all. Still not gonna repurchase them. Not gonna try them again. I don't like them. Now the second last product I've actually had for a really, really long time and I just revisited it the other day and I decided I don't like this. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Plumper. Now you guys would have seen this a lot on YouTube. It's just like a lip gloss. It's sort of got this like duochrome iridescent kind of color to it. I was like, yeah, damn, I want bigger lips. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna look like Kylie Jenner. No, wrong again. You're not gonna look like Lauren Curtis with your lashes. You're not gonna look like Kylie Jenner with your lips. This stuff burns the living shit out of your lips. Like your lips burn, burn, burn. I had this like burn mark above my lips. It went all red. And then recently when my friend Nat was here, I was like, yeah, try this lip injection out. I wanna see what you think. She tried it on and it was like the burn is almost unbearable and I know that that's what these products are meant to do and it's meant to like bring the blood flow to the top of the skin so that it plumps your lips out and stuff which is fine but I don't notice any difference when I use this product so it's not worth the pain that you get when wearing it it doesn't do anything so your lips don't look amazing they're not plumped they just look red and burnt now the last product that I used to love and talk about a lot on my channel is the Colourpop Ultra Matte Liquid Lip in saying this I haven't purchased any of these in the recent months so these are the old formula and the old liquid lipsticks like the matte ultra matte ones I don't like these. I used to love them and I think that's because I was sort of new to liquid lipsticks and I didn't really know and hadn't compared them with other products. I find that they're very very drying and almost uncomfortable to wear on your lips so I don't love these liquid lipsticks. So look they're alright. Would I repurchase them? I probably would because I want to like try some more out and see if maybe the formula's changed a lot and I might like them more now. But just the old formula I don't like these. I never ever ever reach for them so I'm putting them in this video because I don't love these. So that is the end of the video today guys. I really hope you did enjoy it. I really enjoyed making this video and actually going through my collection and seeing the things that actually I don't like these products and I never reach for them so it's good to share them with you guys. Make sure to leave some comments down below if you have these products and if you maybe love them or if you hate them as well and that maybe they're not your favorite. I love engaging with you guys and seeing what you think as well. Also make sure to check the description box down below. I'll leave a link to my first video that I made with the products that are shit so you can check that out as well. If you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel or haven't already make sure to hit subscribe down below. I appreciate it so so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!